so all right beautiful set of people welcome back to another edifying tutorial on how you can do it yourself complete mini importation tutorial get to meet me i am your mini importation coach my name is Samuel Joshua and this is Zion of Logistics. Here we talked about everything that have to do with e-commerce, how you can make money online, how you can start your mini importation and exportation training, right? So if this is your first time of seeing a content like this, kindly do what well to smash that subscription button, like the video and also share it to whomsoever you think the video will be helpful to write. So now we are going to be looking at how you can start consolidating with Sky Cargo and how you can apply for shipping and the necessary things you want to know about these people, right? Now to start from the first step, you need to go and download their hub because everything we are going to be doing is going to be on their hub right so this is their hub i've already downloaded it on my phone you can see it here so once you are done downloading it is on play store and is on app store right so once you're done downloading it just open it right so once you open it you will need to set up an account is very simple and straightforward right so I, I already have an account you just input your number input your preferred password and your email address so once you input your email address a code will be sent to your email input it and it will takes you to a dashboard like this <clears throat> now in a short form i will quickly explain all the things you are seeing on your dashboard here and i'm also going to be teaching you how you can use them to consolidate your goals now before now sky cargo don't do um consolidation maybe during the fact that maybe the the after the management sat down for a board meeting maybe they think they are losing a customer simply because they are not doing um consolidation so they now started it so maybe during the process some of you don't know how to do these things Maybe that was what prompted you to start watching this video or you want to resolve other things that I did not mention. It's fine. With the, before the ending of this video, you will get to understand it, right? So now, this first year, I'm going to be starting with this, um, this one. They just updated this one. This one is not there before. So I told you they just start consolidation, right? what is consolidation consolidation simply means um collecting one item from different like collecting different items from different suppliers right and they will help you pack it together and ship it before now we all know that sky cargo don't do that right so but they just started this process so they now consolidate if you want to buy item from maybe different shopping apps like i do fish like pindodo like um taobao or 168 they can help you gather these things on your name and help you pack it together and ship it we are still coming to their rates, their shipping rates, how you can know their shipping rates so let's take it one after the other now if you want to consolidate this surface is where you are going to be starting from. You can see it here that is presently written there. I want to consolidate. Now, if you are to click on this place here, now I've clicked on it. This is how their consolidation work. By default, they will give you your warehouse address and your zip code and your membership code with it. Now, what do I mean by this? You can see it here that we have something like the name. And something like this this stands as your membership code right this is the consigning name the receivers name then the phone number so this stands as your default um, warehouse address so what do you want to do here now what you want to do here is just to copy it here just click on this guy here to copy everything so it will copy the warehouse address automatically so once you copy it, you will now open your 168 or anywhere you want to buy these items from. You will copy it and paste the warehouse address there. If you don't know how to do it, I've recorded the video on how you can add the warehouse address on Pindodo, on Idlefish, on Taobao, and on 168. All these videos, I'm going to be leaving it under the description button of this tutorial. And it's also going to be showing 
when you are done watching this tutorial so you can click on it and watch it so after you must have done copying it you copy it and paste it on your 160 dashboard as your default warehouse address so you can now start buying things so once you buy it you will they will start delivering it to this your address if anybody is to use this address it's going to count as your item because they only recognize it when they use it because you are the you the, the, this um warehouse address is only assigned for you alone and nobody is so that is for the consolidation part of it right so now once they receive it after you must have bought an item this is where it will show that they have received your item you will receive a notification somewhere around here right so if i'm to click on it now you will see that it it shows two different messages this is one system message here and this is another one here so if i'm to click on this um system message here it will show me that something recently happened now this is this is to tell you that their cargo for their seal cargo changed i mean their price but if you receive any items when they receive it on your name they will definitely update you with this um where we have this guy here where we have this um order message but if you don't see it under this order message you will see it here this logistics tracking now if i'm to click on any of them you will see that i've received different four parcels now this is the first one here you can see it here i've received it and they automatically notify me that they've received it and this is the second one here this is the third one and this is the fourth one that means i've received four items on like they've received it on my name right so that that is um this this simply means that let me come back here this simply means that they've received it how do you apply for shipping how do you want them to like once you are done buying everything you want to buy how do you apply for shipping but before then let's quickly talk about the their rates it's not going to be matured enough if you are buying anything and you don't know their shipping rates now the best way to know their rates you can easily come back to where we have this message icon here this message icon here you can click on it so once you click on it here you can simply ask this online customer service here their shipping rates once you click on it here you will message them and they will respond you can see here they message me a hi this simply means i've already messaged them before for something so they just responded but if they are not getting a quick response like if you are not getting a quick feedback from them as you expect it you can always go to their um what's it called their customer service their warehouse manager i'm going to also leave his number under the description box of this tutorial so you can message him directly this is not a paid advert right they never paid me for this promotion all right so once you message them they will give you their shipping rate for air cargo and for seal cargo if you are okay with it then you are good to go right so after you must have received this how do you apply for shipping or how do you know that they've um, received the package i've already shown you that now how do you apply for shipping you can easily come to collecting package here to see all the packages they've collected on your behalf and you can also apply for shipping immediately how do you go about this click on this collecting package here right once you click on it it will bring it will bring this page So it will take you here booking but under this booking here there is nothing under this page it will always be like this but to be delivery like to be delivery under this to be delivery here this is where you are going to be seeing everything right and if you are to click on here these are the items that has been sent to nigeria and this is under consolidation right so now let me click on under to be delivered now you will see that all the items will be under this um 
this page you can see it here that these are the four items i want to apply shipping for so you can see that um if i want to apply for shipping for all these four items now it's very very simple you just want to come to um where we have this delivery option here this delivery just click on it here once you click on it but before then you need to select them right if you want to select three or four maybe you are the types that do pre-order like like you have already gotten all the tracking number for your students and you want to select those that you want to ship the item for you can easily use this tracking number here to identify the student's item from each other so let's assume out of this four now i want to ship two i want to ship this first two here this one here I want to ship this one here and I also want to ship this one here. It's very, very simple. What you want to do here is just to uncheck this box. If you don't want to ship this um, two, you just uncheck this, uncheck this and apply for shipping for the two of the other ones. So I'll just uncheck this. You can see it here. And I also want to check this. That lift, um, that simply means I want to apply for shipping for just these two items. But in this case, I'm going to be applying shipping for all of them. So I'm going to click on delivery here. This delivery will automatically calculate their shipping rate, right? You can see here that it has already identified how much they are going to be charging you on the app, right? So even if you don't want to contact them, you can easily see what they are going to be charging you here. So they are telling you that this is their freight fee for A for Guanzom um, air shipping here. Yeah. So, and this is their clearing fee, 950, and they charge 6.40 USD per kg. If you are okay with that rate, then you want to click on next. Once you click on next, here is where you have the full details of your shipping. And you want to start by clicking on this first one here the shipping method you want to click on it and select your shipping method if you want to use air shipping if you want to use guanzom if you want to use um hong kong this hong kong is for battery goods right so and if you want to use seal shipping you want to select it so i'm going to be going for this first option which say guanzom air shipping so i'm going to click on it then here is the uh, warehouse, whichever one that you want to pick it from here, you are going to select it. So I'm going to be selecting the um, one at, let me say, Island. Let me say, okay, Island. I've already selected Island. Then what you want to do next is to do what? To click on delivery, right? So once you click on delivery here, it will load. And this simply means it is sources and you've already applied for shipping so they they are going to help you pack the item now take it to the airport and ship it down to nigeria and once the item got to nigeria you will receive a pickup message both on your phone number on your whatsapp and on this app as well so um if i'm to select you can see it has moved here now to it remove to picking this simply means that this item is presently on packing you can see it here now this is the breakdown of your order here you can see it here this is the breakdown including the tracking number and the everything right so that haven't been said once your item go to nigeria we are going to be seeing the message under the message here you are going to see the pickup message and you can also fund your um, your your wallets everything can be done on this app without you disturbing anybody with messages so let me quickly show you how to do that if you want to fund your app just come to account here once you get to account then you will see that um i'm still having 57 error here just come to this side here where we have bank online bank transfer here click on it here then follow this simple instruction Etaro. yes so you just just copy the company accounts number you will input your phone number as the description reference right so that haven't been said after 24 hours they will confirm your payments and everything will be displaying on your balance here so it's as very simple as that if you have any other questions regarding this that i've already taught you today you can do well to message me on whatsapp 
with the number displaying on your screen right now and i hope you find value in watching this very tutorial please do what to subscribe by joining our community then you can also message me for whatsapp for more consultation and mentorship services thank you guys for watching this video to the very end i will definitely see you in my next tutorial